cholesterol is a big worry here in the U.S. In fact, some doctors recommend that even kids get their cholesterol checked. Traditionally, people use medicine to help lower their cholesterol levels, but it doesn't have to be that way. And Mary Nichols has this story in our Check Your Health report. Yeah, I went in and uh, everything checked out fine. Rob Calkins was close to getting a clean bill of health, then his blood work came back. Yeah, I came in and said, uh, your numbers aren't looking good, buddy. You're, you're, you're getting to the point of pre-diabetic. Rob was prescribed a statin to reduce his cholesterol. Ideally, experts say your cholesterol level should be less than 200. However, Rob is among the millions of Americans with high cholesterol. Uh, in fact, 56% of Americans have a cholesterol that is too high. It doesn't have to be this way. If we make some simple changes, we can get it below that threshold or even dramatically below that. Dr. John Day is a cardiologist at Intermountain Medical Center's Heart Institute. He says there are four steps you can take to lower your cholesterol. First, you should be exercising for at least 30 minutes a day. Avoid saturated fats in the foods that you eat. And Dr. Day also recommends that you eat foods that can lower your cholesterol, such as fruits and vegetables. And he says you should eat more fish. For 99% of the people, they can get their cholesterol to target by just making some simple lifestyle changes. As for Rob, he changed his diet and he started exercising more and has since lost a lot of weight. And soon, he may no longer have to take medication to control his cholesterol. And uh, my cholesterol started to drop. And, uh, and in fact, it started to drop so much that they said, well, you know, let's maybe cut this pill in half. Mary Nichols for Check Your Health.